YouTube, Genius in Exile here. Sorry, I sound a little rough. I actually have a really bad cold, so pardon me. I'm actually uh, trying to find a way to use up this heavy cream. So what I was going to do is try to make some dulce de leche. So in here, I've got a vanilla bean that's been split. And I just put that in there whole. If I leave it whole, it'll actually make it a little bit easier to get it out. I'm going to add probably about... Half a teaspoon of salt to this. And it's not mandatory that you put salt into your dulce de leche. It just intensifies the flavor. Then I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda. This you really should put in there. It actually helps to uh, caramelize the milk or the sugars in the milk. It gives it that nice brown color. And uh, let's see, I've got almost a whole half gallon, I'm sorry, one quart of heavy cream. So I'm going to put that in there. Oh, I was hoping to actually use both quarts in this. So you can't really can heavy cream and if you do let me know. I'd love to know how to do it. I was actually going to put a little bit of cinnamon eggnog in here just for flavoring but I don't know that I'll have any room. Let me see. Just a little touch go. Probably about a tablespoon in there. Let me see if I can add a little bit more heavy cream. So that's about a quart and a cup right there. Because there was actually some missing out of that original quart. So now what I'm going to do is uh, cover this until it gets very hot. I'm going to turn this on high. And I love this little bitty crock pot. It's actually one of the smaller ones. And I got this for keeping my dips hot, you know, or just uh, cooking up a small batch of beans, things like that for a party. But I think this will actually come in really handy for the dulce de leche. So I'm just going to cover this up until it gets hot. And when it starts to bubble just a little bit, I'm going to just uncover it and let it cook down. So what you want to do is let it thicken and evaporate all the water out and just get really nice and thick and dark. This is not going to be the quickest process. Um, this will probably take about eight or nine hours. Right now it's 421 so I'll probably be up late just kind of checking on it here and there. I'll just stir it on the hour here and there and just let it cook. So there it is. Beautiful thick heavy cream getting nice and warm and hopefully this will work. I've actually made dulce de leche before but uh, I actually made it with um, whole milk rather than heavy cream. This might take less time, might take more, but I am going to watch it and make sure it doesn't burn which is why I'm going to come by and stir it about every hour or so just to make sure and if it does burn I'll pour it out into another container and clean that out and then put it back in and let it cook and I'll end up turning it on low. But Right now it's on high just so it can start to uh, heat up and I'll come back to you in a little bit when progress happens. Hey guys, told you I was sick. I actually forgot to include the sugar. So I'm going to put in one cup. It was actually a little shorter wood. Two cups. Also short. Doesn't fit in there very well. There we go. And I'm going to stir that in. And let's see. Oh, this has got very, very full. Okay, I'm going to stir in the sugar. Be careful, try not to beat up my vanilla bean. Oh, sorry, I know I sound just awful. I'm really stuffy. Hope you can all understand me. There we go. Got that all nice and stirred in. Let that heat up. There we go. And I'll be back. I think I remembered everything this time. <laughs> okay, so it's been about an hour and a half. I've just checked on it here and there, but not any real progress. It's actually kind of starting to look like a sweetened condensed milk. You can see it's kind of yellowish now. It's got a little foam up at the top that I'm really not going to worry about right now. And uh, just kind of stir it up. 
the sugars at the bottom are completely dissolved. So when I finally remembered to add them about 10 minutes later, I just kept stirring for a little bit and the heat liquefied the sugar. So you can see all that pretty cinnamon on top from that little bit of eggnog and the vanilla caviar from that vanilla bean. Mm, I don't know, maybe it's the fact that my nose is plugged, but I can't really smell anything too much right now. So, And it is, oh goodness. Actually, a few hours later, I must have fallen asleep. Oh, my cold medicine. So I'm going to leave the top off. I'm not going to put this right under my cabinet in case the steam messes with the wood. There we go. Not too close to the edge. All right, and just let this cook down. I have a feeling I could probably turn this on low right before I go to bed, and in the morning it ought to be, you know, cooked down at least a little bit, but it's still on high. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's morning. I've kept a strainer on top, you know, just so the moisture could escape, but just to keep it covered and protected. Um, there was some foam on top that I scraped off, and uh, that's right here. I just wanted to get that off there so it's a nicer, smoother caramel, but it's got a really beautiful color to it. Let me see if I can get a spoon to show y'all. See, it's really pretty. But it doesn't seem to be thickening at all, so I don't know. We'll just keep letting it go, but I know it's going to be a very dark, very good, very rich caramel. All right, I'll keep my eye on it. Okay, so it's been literally about 24 hours, maybe about a half hour short, but it uh, looks like it's done. It actually looks a lot darker on camera than it does in real life. It's actually quite a bit lighter, but uh, it is very dark. It is a beautiful dark caramel color. It looks, well, about the same shade as maybe dark brown sugar. But uh, I've been stirring it just about every time I could think of it. I did go all night without stirring it, though, but, you know, I've had this cold and just wanted to sleep through the night. <laughs> but it looks like it's really good. So I'm going to put this in, uh, I guess, those half-pint jars and pressure cook it for probably about half an hour at 10 pounds just to make sure it's all right. And then label them and put them away. So it'd be really nice. I'm actually going to try some other recipes. I know that there's uh, one where you can put uh, sweetened condensed milk in uh, the half pint jars, put them in a slow cooker, and heat them up that way, or boil them in the can. I've actually done boiling in the can, but you, know, you have to make sure you don't do that with a pop top can. It will explode. Uh, didn't happen to me, but I did a little research on the internet and decided that's not something I wanted to happen in my kitchen. Uh, I did use the solid top cans when I did that, but I decided I would try this because I had so much heavy cream left over from Christmas, and I just, we are going to try another New Year's resolution to lose a little bit of weight, and I just didn't want to have that much cream laying around, but I didn't want it to go to waste, so yeah, in an effort to use up our cream and lose weight I made caramel sauce yeah I don't understand the logic behind it either but at least I can can this up and save it for a while because you know you can't really can up whipping cream that I know of and if so let me know but I plan on getting my shelf stable stuff but there it is very nice very pretty I do have some candied walnuts that I made for a Christmas salad I think I might chop those up and put those in here as well and that will make a beautiful ice cream topping. But this is nice and thick, so it coats the spoon nicely. And of course it is hot, so I'm going to let it cool off, and it will get thicker. But that's just going to be really nice. So all in all, I used about two quarts of heavy cream, a little splash of the cinnamon eggnog, uh, two cups of sugar, one vanilla bean, and one t teaspoon of baking soda. And I don't remember if I covered this before. It's been since yesterday, and I've had this cold. But the baking soda is actually what makes the milk caramelize and gets this beautiful brown color. Uh, other than that, it would just probably be like a slightly darker color, like about the color of sweetened condensed milk. And uh, I don't know, I just don't think it's that appetizing. So that's actually the secret to get your milk to caramelize is just a little bit of baking soda. You can't taste it. It doesn't get fizzy or salty or anything. It just, you know it just makes it caramelize and I added about a teaspoon of salt to just the pink Himalayan just to kind of intensify the flavor that is not 
mandatory. It's, it's strictly optional. At least that part is. But I just think it makes it really nice. There's something about the, I don't know, the salt brings out the sugar and the caramel. But the baking soda you definitely should add. Uh, if you absolutely can't, fine. It'll just be like a lighter color. But I don't know. I think it's kind of nice. This is, I don't know. I keep wanting to say this is mushroom gravy. <sighs> just by the color. And it's probably going to be well, not too bad to clean. I'll just soak it. But there you go. Dulce de leche de crocky potty. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm funnier when I'm sick too. Anyway, y'all take care. Hope you all dodge this cold I've got. I hope I didn't pass it over in the video. <laughs> take care. Bye. So I've got all these in the jars. Well, still got a lot left to go. What I did is I added the candied walnuts to the jars first to make sure I distributed them evenly. And then I poured the caramel right over it. Isn't that nice? This one I'm actually going to give away. So I've filled it up above the line, but these I've actually filled up at the, the proper line. And I'm going to, I'm probably going to pressure can these since it's, you know, milk. I know there's a lot of sugar in it, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to do these for about, I don't know, I can't quite decide if 15, 20 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. I'll probably be doing it at 20 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. But we'll just see how it goes.